Alright, I'm going to show you guys how to skin flex components in Flash Builder 4.5. Uh, right here we have two text areas uh, with the default skin. You can see that the corners are square. We do have a little bit of a shadow in the top, but besides that it's just a plain square box. So let's open up this program it's called app controls and this is what I make UI components in so we can set corner radiuses and uh, height width if we want any gradient fills or not so we want our quarter corner radius about 10 and while you can make large assets and then scale them down or make your skins where you can use them over and over in different applications for the best image quality and crispness I suggest just making your assets on a case-by-case -case basis with your uh, sizes or if you do make a variety of sizes and use the closest one, don't scale more than 20%. So I need a width of 165 and a height of 222 for this application. And let's add a little bit more of a shadow in this. Alright, maybe a little bit more blur. And we can also add drop shadows around the outside, but I don't need anything. We have two pixel margins around it so that when I do save this, it will be a uh, good to work with in Flash Builder. So let's save this image to assets and I'll be saving it as a text area. Place that. Alright, now let's jump into Flash Builder here and in my UI, let's skin this first text area. So, have my text area we want a skin class and when you get the code complete there's different skins here but we want to create a skin and we'll put this in our we'll make a new package skins and we'll call this custom text area and usually this is check is off by default but we want to remove action script styling and this will just make it easier and because we use the code complete it's already set for the spark text area and we're creating a copy of the text area skin so we'll hit finish and let's jump into the code here we'll just make this really quick but uh, what we want to do is we want to remove all of this. You can make everything with vector graphics and declare it in MXML. We have rectangles. And within app controls, we can hit show CSS and we can get all of this data that way. But I'm going to show you how to add an image to this. So let's delete all. Of those borders shadows and everything and so we just have a scroller and a label which is used as a prompt now on this scroller we want to add some padding around this because our image we have a two pixel padding so we want at least four on the left on the top I'm going to five we may have to bump that up more and on the other sides, we'll do four and four. Okay, so let's just clean that up a little bit. Okay, now above the scroller here, let's add our image. So we want a spark image, and we'll set our source object to assets and text area. It's a PNG. We want our width to be 165 
and our height to 22 and we won't have a scale mode because this will be set as it is and we just close this tag hit save now let's go into our main uh, window file here with our text area we already have it set so let's run this and hope it works and there we go we have our new text area with our 10 pixel rounded corners the highlight even traces this new box uh, we can type some in here and everything is working good we may need to add a, a little bit more padding at the top probably go up to six so we can head back in here top we'll change it to six run this again and click in here test Let's see how it wraps and you can just tweak it on the way so this is a big improvement from just the square box we have in the original